I'm Lisa Calderon. I'm a fourth generation Denverite. Uh, Denver is my home and I love it. And I'm also a college professor, the executive director of Emerge Colorado, where we train Democratic women to run for office, and um, a bike and walking enthusiast. I grew up on the north side of Denver with my Mexican mother and the east side of Denver with my black father. Denver back then was still a place of expansion. There wasn't a lot going on downtown. It was like a cow town, especially on Sunday. Um, and so I remember being with my grandparents uh, on the north side of Denver. They raised 11 children on a small plot of land in um, with 11 children. So um, my childhood was fun. I had lots of, it seemed like brothers and sisters, but they were my aunties and uncles. My grandmother was a migrant farm worker and really dreamed big. I saw pictures of her in like Rosie the Riveter outfits. Um, and I feel like I'm living my dreams for her that she couldn't have, so. Um, but uh, we played from morning till night and uh, rode bikes and our world was very small looking back on it, but it was big to us. Honestly, I didn't think I would live past 21 years old. I was uh, put out of the house at 17 by an abusive step parent and was homeless for a time and got into my own abusive relationship um, because it was generational in my family. But thanks to a lot of great teachers at North High School, they made sure that I graduated on time. And, um, you know, having an aspiration to be mayor of Denver wasn't even on my radar. But like many women in politics, it was a need. My son was assaulted by the Denver Police Department at 15 years old, walking home from East High School. And I couldn't get anyone to listen. And from that point, I started advocating and organizing and also looking into legislative changes. That just spearheaded me into politics um, and education because I do teach at Regis University currently uh, on issues of criminal justice. So I really look at how are people treated, what causes crime, what could make our community safer, and eventually got my law degree and my doctorate in education. Denver to me is, it's beautiful and it's my home. It's full of possibilities. Optimistic, tenacious, and courageous. Well, it's Black History Month and I always reflect on the black women who came before me and overcame circumstances like Fannie Lou Hamer, who was a farm worker and really fought for the right to vote. Even though she was beaten, even though she lost jobs, she kept going. And I just think it's remarkable when people fight for a future that they may not see, but fought for generations like me to be sitting in front of you now. I'm really running to reimagine Denver, to make life better and easier and more hopeful for people. And it's the way that I've lived my life. I know what it means to struggle. Um, I know what it means to make the decision between keeping your lights on or paying for food for your family. And I don't want people to have to make those hard choices. We should have basic human uh, needs that are fulfilled in our city and you shouldn't have to go through layers of bureaucracy. So I want to create places where people can go and get help, whether it's embedding our city services in our libraries or our public rec centers. I want people to know that if you need help, whatever it is, um, it's, it's there and it's available for you.